EA Sports. It's in the game. MVP Baseball 2005. We're here at Comerica Park. Welcome, everybody. Hi again, everybody. I'm Dwayne Kuyper with Mike Kruko. And again, it looks like a great evening for a ball game. But it really does, Kuyper. And I'm anxious to get this one started. Here's the starter, Jason Johnson. This evening's game matches the Baltimore Orioles and the Detroit Tigers. The game's first batter is Ryan Roberts. Ball one to start the game. This guy usually pitches deep into the game whenever he starts. You will not see him tire out very often. The grounds crew has really outdone themselves this time with the checkerboard field. On the ground. One out. Newhai digs in. Fastball in tight for a ball. Sometimes you try to make a hitter chase your pitch. That's what you saw with that fastball. Kaipi throws three different pitches when he gets on the mound. He fouled it off to the right. Line drive smashed at the first baseman. Kaipi's quick reaction allowed him to make the play on that line drive. Nice play. First pitch in tight, one ball and no strikes. That one really missed the target. And a strike on a changeup. Oh, Kai, the pitcher makes a mistake here, but the batter cannot cash in. Johnson with an easy one, two, three inning. Here's the lineup for the home team. Today's starter for the visiting team, Sidney Ponson. Next up, Alex Sanchez. Weekly hit. And he makes the play for the out. Got underneath that ball just a little too much. The fielder had no problem making the play. Coming to the plate, Carlos Guillen. This guy has two out pitches. On the ground. He's on with a one-out single. Here's Ivan Rodriguez. He tries to pick him off. Here's the pitch. Almost a great play. He bobbles the ball. He's on first with a single. Now batting, Dimitri Young. First pitch. A strike call on the first pitch. Watch this left fielder. He's got one heck of an arm. He throws a good four-seam fastball, a pretty good change, and a middle-of-the-road curveball. That pitch is high. That's a good idea pitch right there. A curveball off the plate, hoping the batter would go chasing. On the ground. The runner takes him out at second. 
great job by the second baseman to absorb the contact and still get the runner in first. He may have been injured on the play. Let's hope it's not too severe. Leading off, Miguel Tejada. This right-handed hitter is just a great hitter. Fly ball hit the other way to the right side. Higginson makes the grab for the out. Well, Kai, he had a good pitch to hit, but just didn't get good wood on it. The fielder made an easy play. This lefty's a pretty good hitter. Misses for a ball. One ball, one strike count. This pitcher has one dominant pitch. He drills it deep and gone. Home run. That ball just jumped off his bat. All did that ball carry. Next at the plate, Javi Lopez. This guy here is accustomed to frequent success against right-handed. He's going back at the track, the wall. Not going to get it. It is gone. Oh, he puts a great swing on that ball for the solo shot. Bring up Jay Gibbons. Most years, this hitter doesn't hit for a high average. Nope, missed for a ball. This guy on occasion will have control problems, and that leads to walks. He fouled it off to the left. Two ball, one strike count. Misses the plate. Ball. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. He's walked by Johnson. Got behind early in the count and never caught up and surrenders the walk. Digging in, Luis Matos. Here's a guy who's been known to struggle at times against right-handed pitching. He gets the high stride. The walks come in bunches for this pitcher due to suspect control of some pitches. Hits the spot down and away for a strike with the fastball. He delivers. He turns on one and hits a sharp liner. That's an infield single. Make it ready for a pair. The next batter is Larry Bigby. And the delivery. Misses the plate. Ball. His number one pitch is his fastball. Strike called at the letters. I don't think the runner's going to be stopping at third. If the ball's hit the center field, he does not have a good arm in the It's hit out to left. Catch made by White. Kai, he didn't get all that ball. The fielder strolled over, got under it, made an easy play. This guy here is dangerous in the batter's box. It's hit to the left side. And the side is retired. Going into the bottom of the second, the score is two to nothing. White up next. Misses for a ball. Fastball arm action is the reason a changeup is effective. He's slowing his arm up way too much. Hey, that's a great play on a very tough line drive. That's one of the toughest balls in baseball to judge. The pitch is hit to left field. Big B will get there. 
puts it away for the out. Here's Bobby Higginson. First pitch of the at bat is on its way. Slider too far outside, ball. This dude has a bevy of pitches in his arsenal. Ponson gets a strike with the slider. Higginson swings and hits a ground ball to third base. The side is retired in order. After two innings, the score is two to nothing. Stepping in, David Newhan. This could be a long day for this guy. He's got nothing on the mound right now. He just missed it. Good start to the inning, a leadoff single. Next up, Melvin Mora. Hit to left field. Just out in front, and he pulls it foul. Missed high for a ball. It's hit over towards third. The official score charged him with an error. Coming to the plate, Miguel Tejada. The guy standing in right field has his share of outfield assists. Look, he's going back at the track, the wall. He gets there, a super running catch. The Tigers have right-handed action in the bullpen. Next at the plate, Rafael Palmero. That one's driven way back. It might be. It could be. Hitter dropped his back shoulder just a little bit too much, got a little loop in the swing, and the fielder was able to corral for the out. There's a line drive. He's around third. That'll do it as we go to the bottom of the inning. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the score is two to nothing. Now batting, Brandon Inge. Inge hits this pitch to short. And he's out. Up next, Omar Infante. You won't see this batter hitting the lights out against right-handers. He belts it way back, way back, and gone. Hey, Kite, there are not too many bump marks that would have held that one. He might be able to beat out a butt if he takes a look at the infield. Strike with the change. Kaip, I still think fastball changeup is the best combination in baseball. There's a long drive. It's short. He's around first. Two base hit. He didn't get all of that one. It was a pretty good swing, but the ball just didn't carry. Here's Carlos Guillen. He sends this pitch to center. And he puts this one away. Better just got under that one. Fielder had no problem getting out. Stepping in, Vance Wilson. Lifts a pop-up. And that's the final out of the inning with one man left stranded. After three, the score is two to one. Coming to the plate, Jay Gibbons. Jay Gibbons. 
There's a line drive. Digging in Luis Matos. Swung right through it. Pitch said, come and get a big boy, but the batter could not touch that curveball. And the count is one and two. Last season, he batted 224 with six long balls and 28 runs batted in. Next at the plate, Larry Bigby. This batter pounds the ball off right-handed pitchers. That's fair. He's headed to second. That's a two base hit. I mean, he was thinking double all the way. They didn't even have a chance to make a play on it. Now batting. That'll bring up Brian Roberts. Brian Roberts. And he takes a pitch high. The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took the changeup for a ball. Two balls and no strikes. Two outs. That's the final out, and we'll go to the home half. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the Orioles lead two runs to one. Here's Dimitri Young. Hit towards the shortstop. One out. Now batting Rondell White. Swings through a fastball and misses. On the ground. He's aboard with a one out single. He lined that ball right past the infield, and there was no doubt it was a base hit. Good bit of hit. You're not going to get a very high average most years from this lefty. They've set that defense at double play depth. If you can get a ground ball right here, they might get. He keeps him honest with a throw over to first. Pena lays off the pitch low. The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took a heater for a ball. Pickoff attempt. He sends it foul to the left. Pitch taken for a ball. This past season, he had 241 with 27 long balls and 82 runs batted in. There's a line drive. He's rounding second. And a run scores. Good job there. You drive in one, you set yourself up to score another one. You talk about productivity. Coming to the plate, Bobby Higginson. He looked like he was surprised by that pitch. The ball is hit out towards second base. He puts it away. Now at the plate, Stepping Brandon in, Brandon Inge. This guy is okay against right-handed pitching. This past season, he had 287 with 13 long balls and 64 runs batted in. That'll do it for the inning. After four, it's a 2-2 tie. Stepping in one for two, David Newhan. This guy's pretty successful against right-handed pitching. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. Oh. That was a purpose pitch. Fastball out of the zone, hoping the batter would chase. Better move. Zero bite on that curveball. 
looked like a good pitch but called a ball. Last season he batted 311 with eight long balls and 54 runs batted in. Well he's in the driver's seat in that 3 1 count. What's he looking for? He's walked by Johnson. Nothing positive comes out of this guy nibbling. He's falling behind, he's falling behind, he finally walks the guy. Up next, Melvin Mora. Runner on first with no one out. Infield has got to be on their toes thinking too right here, Kite. He goes to first. He rolls one to the left side. He's aboard safely at first. The next batter is Miguel Tejada. Not close. That's a ball. Okay, this guy. He tries to keep him close with a throw over to first. Makes a pickoff throw. Pitch taken for a ball. Sometimes you try to make a hitter chase your pitch. That's what you saw with that fastball. The ball is hit to the left side. Two outs. Now this guy had a rough day at the dish cup. He has to remember that this is a game where you're considered successful if you fail seven out of ten times. He hits it to the right side. They get the out. Heading into the bottom of the inning, it's tied at 2-2. Digging in with one home run already, Omar Infante. Off the plate, outside for a ball. This past season, he had 264 with 16 home runs and 55 RBIs. Next up, Alex Sanchez. Well, this guy's speed always makes him a threat to bunt for a hit. Keep your eyes peeled, big boy. The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took the changeup for a ball. In on the handle. He flips it to the pitcher covering. Easy play. Next at the plate, Carlos Guillen. This switch hitter is much more comfortable batting from the right side. Pitchers fall behind 2-0. That one splits the outfielders. He's on his way to third. A three-bagger. Not many guys could turn that thing into a triple. Extra hustle and a great slide lead to that triple. Now batting Vance Wilson. This guy is a steady hitter. And a breaking ball misses 1 and 0. Two balls and no strikes. He snow cones it for the out. With five innings played, it's a 2 2 tie. Here's Javi Lopez. He belts this one, going back, way back. A home run. Man, that ball just kept going and going and going. Sweet work on the solo. That'll bring up Jay Gibbons. Laid off that one for a ball. A liner. He's on with a single. Now that's a good job of hitting the ball on the ground and finding a hole. That's all you got to do to get on first base. 
He tries to pick him off. Here comes the first pitch of the at-bat. Matos looks at a ball up high. That fastball just missed the target on the corner of the plate. It's hit out to center. Sanchez should have no problem, and he grabs it for the out. The Tigers have someone warming up in the bullpen. The next batter is Larry Bigby. Hit to center field. Sanchez makes the routine catch. Score one that half inning. Next up, Dimitri Young. He jacked that one way back and gone. No doubt about that. You can see that thing was out of here the second it hit the bat. Up next, Rondell White. This right-hander's average won't get him into the Hall of Fame. This past season, he hit 270 with 19 long balls and 67 RBI. He drills it deep and gone. Home run. Wow. That was smoked out of here. No doubt about it. Stepping in, one for two, Carlos Pena. Misses. He sends this pitch towards second base. Out on the play. The Orioles have a left-hander getting ready in the pen. Next at the plate, Bobby Higginson. One out, and the bases are clear. Get on the ground to the left side. The Orioles have activated the bullpen. The pitch. Taken for a ball. That changeup could have been called either way, but it went the batter's favor. That one's going to fall in for a hit. He's on first with a hit. From the time that ball at the bat, that ball had no chance of being caught. Stepping in, Brandon Inge. Laid off that one for a ball. He tries to pick him off. This one's got a chance. That home run knocks in a pair. Put a two spot on the scoreboard, big boy. He did well there not to drive in the only run, but to drive himself in as well. The Orioles go to the bullpen. Klein comes in from the bullpen. Now batting Omar Infante. Off his fist. Two away. 
Mora made it look easy on that out at first, Kyle. Stepping in one for three, Alex Sanchez. Ball out of the zone. Well, he was not expecting that pitch, and it was obvious, but a stunned look he had on his face as he watched it go by. Swung right through the pitch in tight. Kai, this guy was outmaneuvered on that pitch. He hits it to the right side. They get the out on the play. After six, the score is six to three. That'll bring up Brian Roberts. Brian Roberts. That pitch turned on and hit on a line. Digging in, David Newhan. He crushes it. Just missed a home run. Sends it to the cutoff man. The official score wasted no time in ruling that one an error. It was simply a matter of poor play in the outfield that allowed the runner to get the third. That's inexcusable. The next batter is Melvin Mora. Long fly ball to right field and deep. Higginson makes the routine catch. The runner comes in to score on the sacrifice fly. Mora did a good job right there. Sack fly to the outfield, scores the run. That's a productive at bat. Up next, Miguel Tejada. On the ground. They got him. Okay, this dude needs to keep his head up. This hasn't been his best game, but he'll live to play another day. Hey, partner, it's time now for the seventh inning stretch. Didn't you sing recently at Wrigley Field? Oh, I sure did. When I was in the league, I could pitch in front of 50,000 people, but that was like throwing in my backyard. Singing the take me out to the ball game at Wrigley, I was scared to death. Coming to the plate with one single today, Carlos Guilla. The ball settles into his glove for the out. Well, Kai, he had a good pitch to hit, but just didn't get good wood on it. Fielder made an easy play. Now on the plate. Next at the plate, Vance Wilson. Pitch misses. Last season, he batted 274 with four long balls and 21 on the line. Slider strike. He hits a line drive the other way. That's a one-out single. Stepping in with one home run, Dimitri Young. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. Looks like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. Looks like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. There's a strike. I like to see a hit and run in a situation like this. The pitcher's behind the count, so he has to come over, and a pitch out is unlikely. So why not hit and run? Makes a pickoff throw to first. Ball four. Nothing positive comes out of this guy Nibbler. He's falling behind, he's falling behind, he finally walks the ball. Next up, Rondell White. He fouled it off to the left. He swung through the pitch. Defense has to be thinking two right now on a hard hit ground ball, Kai. A ball. He's hitting back to the dugout. Strike three. Now, 
stepping in, Carlos Pena. Line shot. That's three outs, and the inning is over. With seven innings played, the score is six to four. They're making a pitching change. Urbina comes in to try to provide some relief. At bat with one home run, Rafael Palmero. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Good job to inside out it to the left side. Base hit. Now that's a great job of getting your bat through the zone. I mean, he's sitting on a fastball, and it's a good one, but he still hammers it. Yank to the left side. There's a double play. Okay, that was a perfectly executed play. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Stepping in one for two, Jay Gibbons. Two outs and nobody on. Lifts one to left. Nice catch by White. Got underneath that ball just a little too much. The fielder had no problem making the play. So they got one base hit, but couldn't do anything with it. Up next with a single already this game, Bobby Higginson. This batter isn't going to turn any heads with his swing. Just off the plate. That's a good pitch in this situation. Try to make him chase one out of the zone. Hops him up. Roberts makes the routine catch. The Tigers have some action in their pen. Here's Brandon Inge. That's strike number one. Pitch misses, says the umpire. Just not getting much on his fastball out there right now. He sends a tailing line drive out to center field. He reaches with a base hit. Cut that's a good looking swing. He got himself a base hit. Digging in, Omar Infante. Pickoff throw to first. Okay, the catch would be smart here to call something with a little sink on it, try and get that ground ball. Down he goes on strikes. Hey, the guy gets strike one. Sometimes that's all it takes. Good pitching out there for the striker. Sanchez zigs into the box. Hey, Kite, as a manager, you hate to see this guy come up. His speed makes him a constant threat. 0-2 count. He hits the pitch to right. I didn't think he had a chance for that one, Kai. What a great play. The Orioles will pinch hit here. Here we go. This is what it's all about, big boy. Yank to the left side. Pitch misses. Hairston Jr. sends it out to right. He just missed it. He's around second. That's some shaky defense, and an error will be charged. That was a bonehead play. They gotta make every play at this point in the game. Stepping in one for three, Larry Bigby. He hits the pitch to center. 
Sanchez squeezes it in his glove. The runner scores on the sacrifice fly. Big B didn't get all that pitch, but he got enough of it to drive in the run. The corners are playing the lines. The next batter is Ryan Roberts. Ground ball hit to short. Out! Now batting, David Newhan. And the delivery. The ball is pulled to the right side. And that'll do it. Johnson is the winner. The loss is charged to Sidney Ponson. Troy Percival comes in and gets the save. The final score, Detroit 6, Baltimore 5.